Hi, my name is Samantha from Minerva and welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking about Liberty Tana Lawn. I have some great, beautiful fabrics to share with you and some hints and tips from our amazing community. And whether you are a beginner sewist or you're an experienced stitcher, I'm sure that we've got some patterns and some fabrics for you. You may be a crafter and enjoy liberty for your crafting and I'm sure that we have again got something to inspire you in this video. So a little bit about Liberty Tana Lawn. We are delighted to be a stockist at Minerva and our range was significantly increased in autumn 2020. Now the Liberty Tana Lawn is a silky to touch fabric. It's a cotton fabric and I'm wearing a dress today which I have hacked from a blouse pattern to make it longer and floatier and with some really delicate big billowing sleeves to show off that silkiness that you get with the Liberty Tana Lawn. One of the attributes for this is the high thread count and you will be able to launder this beautiful silky fabric as just you would your cottons. I have had a dress in my wardrobe which I made about three years ago and I've laundered it like a cotton and you just would not believe how beautiful and the quality is still there and that's really synonymous with the Liberty brand. So this dress I've made and I couldn't really put this against some of my latest makes to see if the quality has faded at all. So you really are getting with Liberty a dress that you can wear. You can follow the Liberty hashtag over on the Minerva community and you can be inspired by some of our fantastic makers. A few of them I've just popped up here. The first is the Creative Linen Bloom Heirloom. And what Mel does is she really has so much passion for Liberty that she makes some beautiful creations and she keeps all of her scraps to make other crafts with. So um, I've seen her make pattern weights with decoupage and also decoupage her sewing room chest of drawers with her scraps. So really you can carry on creative even if you have those Liberty scraps. Also, I was so inspired by My Sweet Sunshine Studios Floaty Romantic Dress, which is McCall's 7946. And my goodness, I see this picture and I think, how inspired am I to make another Liberty dress? And Liberty fabric is great for children's wear and for babies as well because it really does withstand those hot washers and you don't lose that quality. Pretty prints are famous for their flora and their fauna in the print. I'll just grab one for you. And you can see with the Liberty print that you have got a beautiful floral, you've got a lovely all over design. The designs are normally a medium to small print and they really do have a beautiful sophisticated blend of colours and what I particularly like about the Liberty Tana Lawn is you can put together a few different colourways And by popping a, a separate colourway, you can actually start to think about how great these would look together and how great they would look maybe as a quilt or as a project for a heirloom. All of these fabrics are printed in the Liberty Mill in Northern Italy. And my goodness, wouldn't it be fantastic to go there and see these prints being created? I had a quick look over on Etsy 
and there's a lot of makers there who have got a company which just trades in gifts in Liberty. So if you're thinking about making maybe a few little bags as gifts or some headbands or some little bows or maybe a cake topper for a celebration, uh, we, can we can sell Liberty in a minimum of half a metre and then within those 10 centimetre increments for your projects. I've also seen so many inspiring quilts and if you are just starting out on your quilting journey, Liberty Print does make a fantastic quilting fabric. Not only that you're working with quality, but you also have that lovely small to medium print and the harmony of the colour rays really does lend itself to quilting. So if you're an experienced quilter or you've just started out on that quilting journey, Liberty Fabric really does give so many creative uses for your quilts. I'm now going to share with you six different colourways and some patterns for your Liberty Fabric. And our first is the beautiful Cerise. And this is a beautiful floral all over pattern and we're looking here at the pale green leaves and the florals in pale reds, pale pinks and we've got a white here, let's bring that to the camera, in about two different types of flowers and they all blend beautifully on a navy background and this would look fantastic for a dress because it has such a drape to it and it would be really beautiful in the summer and I've got a few recommendations here there is the beautiful Butterick 6654 this would look great with the lovely angel sleeves and to show that drape off of the cerise here on these sleeves and also what I like about this pattern is it has a really lovely scoop to the wrap over so it would look floaty but you've got a lovely design here on both of these with a nice edge to it so really adds to that femininity that you get with the Liberty print. We would also recommend for this pattern we would recommend Deer and Doe's Magnolia again because you've got those beautiful big sleeve option on the pattern and you can make it either in the very long version or you can make it in the knee skimming version as well but again look that would be great and to really show off the floatiness of the fabric for the summer. I think this would look fantastic in a blouse or a dress. The colourway really um, is so on trend with the use of yellow, the pinks and the darker reds. Highlighted also with that little pale green leaf. This is such a drapey fabric and to wear as a blouse would be absolute joy. This would look great as a transition in between seasons and for me I would love to make a Bloomsbury blouse with this. I think they would make a fantastic blouse. For inspiration from our website over on the community So Dainty has made a Roscoe blouse in the Liberty fabric and I think that I would like to make Kathy at So Dainty's blouse in this pattern and for me it really is so on trend but it still has that femininity that you get with Liberty fabrics and this to me is a very famous colourway for Liberty you've got your reds white and blue floral and you've got a hint of a pale green leaf you've got a few different varieties of flowers within the print 
And I love the all over prints for Liberty because there isn't that much pattern match to do. So your fabric just go a long way. I love this with again that dark navy background that's been familiar through all of the pieces that I've been sharing today. And again, this would be fantastic, I think, for crafting here. And Liberty is a beautiful gift to give. And I'd look at maybe a teddy bear in this design. And here we've got a very classic teddy bear, which is Simplicity 8044. And giving this as a gift. Again, this would be loved for a very long time. And you know with the quality that you get with your Liberty Tana Lawn that it will stand up to all of that love as well. I also think this would be great for seasonal, for Christmas and for the holidays. Because you've got a lot of red in the design, it would look fabulous as Christmas stockings, or a Christmas wreath or Christmas accessories to hang up on the tree and let's have a look at that red there I think this is a beautiful Christmassy red and let's carry on their love of liberty into the Christmas festivities I'm recommending two patterns here today from the website they are McCall's 6413 and they are fabulous wreaths there and little accessories to make with your Liberty. And also we have for a stocking, a classic stocking would be Simplicity 8828. And it's always nice to think what other festivities and festivals you could create for with your Liberty fabric. I then have this beautiful red fabric. Now, I think this would look absolutely beautiful as a summer dress. For me, this is shouting summer with the red and the green and the hints of blue as well. I could see this made as something incredibly floaty and it would look great for holiday or for meeting friends for lunch. I wouldn't necessarily line any of these dresses because they've got a dark navy background so even if they are quite a sheer I wouldn't line them because they would be perfect for the summer and you really get that really soft floatiness with your fabric. I am recommending here this really adorable dress by Simplicity 8146 and this is the dress that I'm recommending here and I think that that would look super sophisticated in Liberty maybe wearing a cardigan over the top or maybe a shawl with it and you can highlight some of these colours in the accessories that you're wearing I also find this adorable because if you've got a little one you could make a mummy and a mini me dress as well from this Our fabric start at half a metre and you can then order increments of 10 centimetres so if you want a metre and 70 of your Liberty fabric you can do that by ordering via us on the website. While you're also thinking about ordering your Liberty you may want to consider the Minerva Club There'll be some details below on the club, but you will get 10% off all of your orders. We also do some amazing flash sales where you could get 30 or even 40% off your craft materials. And that really does add up over the year. So do check out the Minerva Club for finding out how you can save on your fabrics. And now let's look at autumn 
and this is so on trend. I wouldn't necessarily make this purely for autumn, but I think this wood print would look fabulous in the summer in a very long floaty dress. And you can see that lovely, subtle combination of russ and burnt reds and whites on the dark navy background. So recommendations for this pattern would be this one which I'm wearing in the video which is New Look 6471. Now I made this into a smock dress and again I think that this would look great adding a little bit of length and like I created going for version D with the scoop neck having the gathers around the neck which really do highlight the drapiness and the softness and the silkiness of the Liberty print. I'd also look at Atelier and the Buttons Indigo You've got two options for the indigo. You've got the one with the extra pack on with the frills on it. So you could really highlight some frills which are so on trend for this year. And for summer months, again, making something soft and floaty and not necessarily lining this because as I just bring it to the camera, you can see how gentle the fabric and soft it is. So I wouldn't necessarily line this for hot summer nights, really on a trend. You could have a lovely floaty indigo in this fabric. And also look, if you want to make a smock style dress in this fabric, at Birda 6449, which again is a classed as an easy, so if you're getting into dressmaking, this would be a great beginner pattern to make but also it would be very easy to whip up and you would have a beautiful Liberty dress to wear for maybe a holiday or if you're going out this summer for dinner, this would look great. And next we have a blue palette and this is the first blue, blue that I have shared with you today and this is absolutely stunning. I can see this looking fabulous for pyjamas, also for men's shirts and what about a blouse where you could make the blue of the main part of the blouse and maybe, maybe highlight the collar in an alternative liberty. So for example just taking one of the prints one of the other colourways that we have and just layering that up and you start to see how beautiful the combinations of colourways you can really feel that the people at Liberty have really thought about the colour combinations and there's very subtle sophisticated palettes I've seen a lot of shirts on the high street and online for men in these colourways but I think really to have one of those very very smart casual shirts in Liberty would be a great gift to make or a great gift to receive. I'm recommending today the Simplicity 8427. Now this is a slim fit pattern and for me there's not a lot of really great men's patterns on the market. We do stock here at Minerva some really great men's patterns but I think once you actually find a pattern that fits and also you enjoy to make you really want to make that pattern again and again in some very different fabrics. I particularly like the Mimi G styles for men because they are incredibly flattering, they are really great to stitch and you can have some fun with some great fabrics 
to make your shirts. And what man doesn't like a shirt as a gift? So something for Christmas, maybe a Liberty shirt. And have a think about what you would like to make within with your Liberty. I also think this would lend itself really well to a vintage blouse. And I'm picking out here the Gertie Butterick 6217. Now I've made this blouse, but I haven't made it in Liberty. And seeing the Liberty with this really wants me to create it in Liberty because it just feels such a soft, beautiful fabric. Now I particularly like this because I think you could have a lot of fun with the bodice and maybe you could order some are uh, an alternative Liberty fabric to make the collar here or have some fun here. Maybe you could make them in two separate colorways. All of these fabrics are produced so that they do work in harmony together with the color palettes. So why not mix them up and have some fun with your Liberty print? Liberty print is great for quilting and again, you can order that half a metre and then your 10 centimetre increments. So if you're making an heirloom quilt, now is the time to start having a think because every single Liberty that I've showed you here today is exactly the same basic print but in a different colourway and they do match together so incredibly well. And that's everything I've got to share with you in today's video. Please pop in the comments box below what you would make with Liberty Tarnalorn and I'll see you in the next video.